The Dogs of War is the 174th episode of the American science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 24th of the seventh season. It is the eighth of the ten-episode story arc concluding the series, based on a story by Peter Allen Fields. Set in the 24th century, the series follows the adventures on Deep Space Nine, a space station located near a stable wormhole between the Alpha and Gamma quadrants of the Milky Way galaxy. In this episode, Dama Casey Biggs, Kira Nana Visitor, and Garrick Andrew J. Robinson form a new strategy for opposing the Dominion after the organized resistance is wiped out. Grand Nagus Sec Wallace Shawn announces his retirement and plans to come to the station to visit his hand-picked successor. This episode was written by René Echevarria and Ronald D. Moore, with direction by Avery Brooks, who is also acts in the role of Cisco. Plot The Cardassian Rebellion headed by former Legate Dama Casey Biggs, suffers a severe blow when Dama is stranded with Garrick Andrew J. Robinson and Kira Nana Visitor on Cardassia Prime, while all of the rebel bases are destroyed. The Dominion proudly announces they have crushed the Rebellion, and the Cardassian Union names Dama's replacement, Legate Broca Mel Johnson Jr., Dama, Garrick, and Kira hide out in the home of Mila Juliana McCarthy, Garrick's former caretaker. With the encouragement of Kira, the three bomb a Jemahadar barracks, where Dama reveals to the people that he is not dead, as Dominion propaganda claimed. He then calls upon the Cardassian populace to rise up against the Dominion. Even though the organized military resistance is gone, a massive civilian revolution begins. On Deep Space Nine, Quark Armin Shimmerman receives a message from Grand Nagus Zek Wallace Shawn, apparently informing him that he has been chosen as Zek's successor upon his imminent retirement. Upon a visit from his old rival Brunt Jeffrey Combs, however, he discovers that Zek, presumably under the influence of Quark's mother Ishka Cecily Adams, has instituted a number of reforms, including promoting workers' rights and environmental protection and outlawing monopolies. Quark is so disgusted by these violations of old Ferengi tradition that he threatens to turn down the job. Upon Zek's arrival to name his successor, however, he discovers that he was never the intended heir of the Grand Nagus, and it was in fact Quark's brother Rom Max Grodenchik. Quark is still extremely unimpressed, and in a subsequent monologue swears to turn his bar into a refuge for the old unrestrained capitalism that was symbolic of his Ferengina, though he admits that his brother is better suited to be the leader of a new Ferengina. At Dominion headquarters on Cardassia, the female changeling Salome Jens, Wayan, Jeffrey Combs, Broca, and the Breen representative Thot Pran note the Federation has overcome the Breen weapon, and resolve to make a major retreat in hopes that the Federation and its allies will leave them alone long enough for them to rebuild their fleets. Despite their position, they still believe in a final victory. Captain Sisko Avery Brooks anticipates this, however, and he and Chancellor Martok J. G. Hertzler press for a final assault to be launched upon Cardassia Prime to end the war. Admiral Ross Barry Jenner and the Romulan representative reluctantly agree. Later that day, Siskar's wife Cassidy Penny Johnson Gerald tells him that she is pregnant, and she is concerned by a warning from the prophets that Sisko, as the emissary, must walk his path alone. Sisko attempts to comfort her. Topic: Guest stars. Topic: Production. This is the eighth and last appearance of Brunt and the thirtieth and second last appearance of Wayan, recurring characters who are both played by Jeffrey Combs since season three, Brunt, family business, and season four, Wayan, to the death. This was the only episode to feature both of them, and Combs played both parts, however, there are no scenes in the episode with both characters present. The episode's title, The Dogs of War, comes from Act 3, Scene 1, Line 273 of Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare, where Mark Antony says, Cry, Havoc, and let slip the dogs of war. Reception 
This received Nielsen ratings of 3.7 points, just under 3.7 million viewers when it was broadcast on television in May 1999. As of 2018, TV.com rated the episode a 9.0 out of 10 on 138 user inputs. This episode is notable for the station getting a replacement for the USS Defiant. The USS Defiant has been noted in reviews of fictional spacecraft of Star Trek. The combat power of the Defiant is noted, and also its replacement, the Sao Paul, which was renamed but is of the same class of vessel after the original is destroyed. See also Star Trek Portal